Yes, people. Hope these are good. I'd just like to apologise as I've had so many messages about the lack of podcasts over the last few weeks, but some of you may know or may not know, but I have signed up for an MMA fight. That's right, MMA. So it's a 12-week camp. We're four weeks into it. So I'm giving this all my attention. It's tough. I'm the oldest man in this competition at 38 years young. But again, it's just another challenge for myself. I done the boxing last year, which I loved. It was um, it was tougher than what I expected, just because you hit pads and you think you're good. That it's a totally different ball game than actually getting and having a scrap. But I done it. I win. And um, this is another opportunity. It's presented itself. It's something I've always fancied doing. And again, I'll, I'll raise to the occasion. It's a 12-week camp um, with some mad people. It's called Celeb MMA. I know people say, oh, where's the celebs, this and that. But again, this is just an opportunity for me to get fit, get great exposure for myself as well. And it's good money. So it's, all a, it's a win-win for me. It's just obviously... This has taken up a lot of my attention and focus, which is understandable. But I managed to get four podcasts recorded this week, so we'll be back to releasing two a week. It's just a bit all over the place. Um, it's just a totally different ball game, MMA. It's the groundwork and the kicks, the knees, the elbows. Like it's, it is tough, but again, I don't portray myself as a fighter. But what I have got is a big set of balls and a big heart to... Uh, do these things I won't shy away from an opponent I won't shy away from anybody in fact but it's a uh, it's a good opportunity and it's a uh, it's an experience and a half I must admit but again it's just about creating memories and a bit of self-belief and, and doing something different and getting yourself out of the comfort zone like that's what it's all about it's just um just learning and growing as an individual but Again, it's the 24th of June. We're fighting in Wembley Arena um, in London. 11,000 people, they say. I managed to fight in front of a few thousand last year, getting called out to the ring by Michael Buffer. And, uh, and it was an experience, man. Like, I get that um, people don't like these events, but again, if I'm honest, I couldn't give two fucks. This is um, it's an opportunity, a lifetime, and anybody that's willing to have a tear-up has got my respect. There's... I think 18 different opponents. We have a red team and a blue team. And we're training down London. And it's tough, man. It's fucking tough. My back's sore, knees are sore. But again, it's it's just doing something new. But I've had so many messages over the last few weeks about the podcast. Why has there not been why has there not been any getting released? But again, this is this is the reason why. Like it's all over. if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you just wouldn't know. But Again, it's just focusing on this for the next eight weeks, have the fight, and I've got some amazing guests booked in um, with some amazing stories. i just done footballer Matt Letizia there, his will be out in the next day or two. So I've got a, a few great podcasts coming up. Matthew talks about his footballing career. Uh, what a player. I think he was the first English player to score over 100 goals from midfield. Um, Stayed, he's loyal with Southampton plus it's the conspiracy side of things he was sacked from Sky Sports and he's kind of doing the rabbit hole and uh, once you're down that it is, you can get lost so speaks about a lot of powerful stuff but I'm missing the podcast I'm missing the conversations with people but I've got so many guests on the pipeline waiting on the sidelines for me to get it done but again this MMA stuff is taking up so much time like I know what it takes because last year after having the boxing event, I, I kind of get the gist of it. It's so warm under those lights and the pressure and the the adrenaline through the whole week of getting and having a fight. So I thought I was fit the last time, but this time I was nowhere near fit. I blew after the first round. I still managed to win the fight, but this is different. But like, You can get seriously hurt. And again, like, I'm not a professional, but I fucking got the balls to get in and do this and Again, I'm making more money and it's good for exposure. It's good for credibility and um, meeting new people and that's all it's about for me is networking. I'm the only Scottish man in this competition. I'm the oldest man in this competition, but that doesn't mean nothing. But it's just to give you a wee update as I have been very quiet on YouTube, but my other social media um, websites, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, 
you've not got me on there, then um, you wouldn't know about these stuff. But it's just to give people of YouTube a little update, and I can confirm that we'll be back to two podcasts per week, as I managed to get a few done this week. So right now, if it's just a bit all over the place, then that's the reason. I've signed up for this MMA fight. And uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, but again, as people know, my weight is up and down. Like, I've mastered a lot of things with the no drinking, no drugs and no gambling. The eating is uh, is my weakness, but it's when I'm training for something like this, then it, I do kind of get to knock down for it and um, put in a bit of discipline. I'm fighting a younger kid as well, ripped. But again, my last opponent who I've done the boxing with was the same and I still won like, Muscles don't mean fuck all, especially when it comes to fights. A bit of grit and determination, especially for amateurs. Like, because all, everything you learn kind of goes out the window and people just start coming out swinging. So I think I'll be a bit more relaxed. But again, it's MMA. Anything can happen. And I believe I'll be, uh, again, a, another winner at the end. I, I'm a winner. I believe I'm a winner. Whether people like that or not, I, I, again, I couldn't give two fucks. Like, I've got the courage in a bottle to do these things. And willing to take a risk and that's what it's all about so just a little update from me and hope everybody's good again thanks for all the amazing support that i get through the for the, for the podcast and the things that i'm doing but i will keep you more updated with the mma kind of thing because i've had so many messages I just haven't had the time to reply i'm off for three days and um, so i managed to spend some time with family uh, up in glasgow which was good getting things done and, and putting things in place over the next few weeks but I'm back down to London again for training and then the hard work starts for the next eight weeks so just a little update people hope you're all well and good and again thanks for all the amazing support and I'll speak to you soon